Okay, so for this week I had question 12-6 and I've just recreated it on an Excel document so all the answers aren't in there that are already put in there. And so you'll have all the drop down menus and everything like the uh, actual question has. But So it's asking us to make up the statement of cash flows by using the indirect method. And it tells us up here that we are looking at non-cash current assets and uh, the ones we're looking at are accounts receivable decreased by the 77,900 amount, prepaid expenses increased by 29,600 amount, and inventories increased by 38,100 amount. And then it tells us that our net income was $171,400. So we go to the first blank right here, and it's going to have your drop down, but this is where you will say that this is the cash flows from operating activities. And then we're going to go down ahead, and the second one is where you'll, you're going to add where your net income is. And so that's where you can have your like starting point to where we know what to add and what to subtract from. And then it tells you that the, this next part is going to be your adjustments to reconcile the net income. And so we start out by categorizing it by the net cash provided by operating activities. And so what I did is I just went in order that it gives us in the problem. And so the first one is going to be the accounts receive receivable. And since it says that they were decreased, then that's what you're going to put in this box. It's going to be the decrease in accounts receivable. But this is where it gets a little tricky because it's not going to be a negative number over here. It's actually going to be a positive number. Because since it's decreasing the accounts receivable, then it's adding to it. And so then we go on to the next, which is an increase in the prepaid expenses. So that's what you put. And then over here, instead of it being a positive, it's going to actually be a negative. And in the problem, you can either put a negative sign in the beginning, or you can put it in parentheses, and it'll accept it either way. And then the last one is going to be inventories increased. And so once again, it's going to be an increase in inventories. And that is also going to be a negative. And so right here, as always, we're going to add them all up. So since I'm using Excel, then I'm just going to quickly add them this way. And that tells you the total change that's going to be in the net income. And then down here at the bottom, the last category is net cash provided by operating activities. And this is where we go ahead and add the amount that we found to the net income, and that will give your total. And the only problems I had was actually finding the answers to what this category was called and what this one was called. And so it's possible that those are still wrong, but I went back in the book and reread the chapter, and that's what I found. So if y'all find something different, go ahead and let me know in the comments, and that would be great. So good luck on your homework.